Welcome to the Grant Solutions post-award training session. This training is the third in a series designed to assist and educate the growing grantee community associated with Grant Solutions. During this tutorial, students may pause, advance, or rewind the training session at any time. Post-award actions allow grantees to electronically submit, track, and manage applications, process amendment types, and communicate with federal staff. The topics covered during this training are My Grants List, Managing and Processing Amendments, Non-Competing Continuations, and Directed Supplements. Let's begin with My Grants List. My Grants List is a central point of management for all grants assigned to an organization and user. From this location, all grant details are displayed and most post-award actions are performed. The discussion of My Grants List will include viewing and navigation, grant notes, and history. To begin, log in to Grant Solutions with your registered account. Users without an account should review the training Introduction to Grant Solutions for Grantees. When a user logs in to Grant Solutions, the My Grants List screen appears. This page contains a summary of all active awarded grants. To view expired grants, select the Show Expired Grants link on the upper right side of the screen. The expired list opens and displays non-active grants for an organization. To return to the Active Grants list, select the Show Live Grants link. The My Grants List screen displays. My Grants List provides financial and project statistics for each grant. In addition, it contains terms and conditions and displays non-competing continuation announcements and application kits if applicable. The grantee can view and perform post-award actions. These action links are listed on the far right of the grant summary box. For example, to view the current Notice of Grant Award, click the View NGA link. A PDF version of the NGA displays in the browser window. The user may print, save, and scroll through the document. Click the X in the upper right corner to close the PDF. Similar to the Application Notes feature discussed in the pre-award training, Grant Notes allow users to create and view note correspondence from each and every grant within the My Grants list. To view all notes, click the Grant Notes link adjacent to the desired grant. Grant Notes opens in a separate browser window and displays a comprehensive list of all grant notes for an entire project period. For each individual grant, the note page is divided into two sections. The upper section provides a search utility for grant notes. The search fields include creation date, type, category, author, and subject. The lower section provides a summary list of all grant notes. This list is further classified by subject, category, grant note type, author, date, support year, application number, and action. For example, to search for notes created between February 19th to February 21st, first select the date February 19th and the grant note create date from calendar. Select February 21st from the to calendar. Click the search button. The system shows all notes created during that time frame. In this example, two grant notes are displayed. To add a grant note, click the, the Add button. The Grant Notes Add screen displays. Enter information into the appropriate fields. Please note that a red asterisk indicates a required field. Data must be entered into a required field before the grantee can save the note. To add an attachment, click Browse to search for a file. Select the desired file and click the Open button. From the Grant Notes Add page, enter an attachment description and select the Upload button. The file is scanned for viruses. Once the upload status is successful, the file is available for review in Grant Notes. Some uploads may take longer than others due to file size. If the attachment status is in queue, then the file is waiting its turn to upload. If a document fails to upload, it may be due to a found virus, incompatible file format, or a very large document. Once the upload is complete, click the Submit button to save the note. 
The Grant Notes screen displays, as with application notes, Grant Notes can be edited and deleted by the author. To view notes, select the View icon in the action column of a specific note. Click the View icon. To view a note's attachments, click the file name link located under the Source Attachments column. To open the attachment, click the OK button. The document displays. Close the attachment by clicking the X in the upper right corner of the document. Click Cancel. Click Cancel to return to the My Grants List screen. The My Grants List screen contains a link to the Grant History page. The Grant History screen tracks all application and grant actions throughout the grants project period. It allows the grantee to view in read-only mode all submitted applications, for example non-competing continuations, new and post-award amendments, and the NOA if the award was made. To view the Grant History, click the History link. The Grant History page displays. This screen provides a summary of all award and amendment actions for the specific grant. To view the application kit, select the application number or click the View Application link under the Action column. A read-only version of the application control checklist displays. Application information may be viewed or printed. To return to the History page, scroll to the bottom of the screen and click the Close button. The History page displays. From the History page, a grantee may view all Notice of Grant awards issued during the project period. To view a Notice of Grant award, select the View NGA link. The NGA displays as a PDF in a new window. View, print, and save the document by using the PDF toolbar. To close this screen and return to the History page, click the X in the upper right corner of the screen. The Grant History screen displays. Once the History review is complete, select the Close button to re return to the My Grants list. Grant Solutions post-award actions provide the ability to create and manage amendments for previously awarded grants. In this section, we examine how to manage and process amendments. To begin an amendment, log into Grant Solutions and access the My Grants list screen. If more than one grant is listed, Scroll through the Grant Summary list until the desired grant is located. Cl click the Manage Amendments link. The Manage Amendments screen displays. If amendments were previously submitted, the Manage Amendment page will detail a history of in-progress amendment actions. If no prior amendments for the grant were issued, the screen is blank. As with applications, the grantee can view the amendment, history, and grant notes related to both the amendment and grant. Click the New button to begin a new amendment. The Select Amendment Type screen appears. Each application type represents a pre-configured kit developed for a specific post-amendment action. These post-amendment actions range from a simple address change to a more complex budget revision. If the user is not sure which amendment type option to choose, they should contact the Program or Grants Office for assistance. Select the desired amendment type by clicking the adjacent radio button. Change grantee address is selected. Click the Create Amendment button at the bottom of the screen. The Amendment Application Control Checklist displays. Data entry for amendments follows the same structural format as new applications. Click the Enter Online link from the Enclosures column. The Change Grantee Information screen displays. Make any necessary changes and then click the Save button. A confirmation message appears asking if you want to validate the address. Click OK. The Save Successful message displays. Click the Close button. As with all checklists, the Amendment Application Control Checklist has an error checking mechanism. The green checkmark indicates all required data fields have been entered on the form and or files have been uploaded successfully. A red X signifies an error with an online form or document upload. Once all information is entered, the Amendment Application Control Checklist displays all green check marks. It is important to note that Grant Solutions is only confirming minimal form completion. It is still the grantee's responsibility to confirm and verify content. The final submission process is a two-step procedure. The first step is verification by the grantee, and the last step is the formal submission to the federal staff. To begin, confirm all sections have been fully completed. Upon final review, click the Verify Submission button. 
The amendment submission verification screen appears, stating that the application is about to be submitted. Click the final submission button. A warning message appears. Click OK to submit the application or cancel to return the amendment for editing. Click OK. The amendment status confirmation screen appears. The application is officially submitted. The application is now available to grant staff. To exit this screen, select the Application Control Checklist button. The user returns to the Amendment Application Control Checklist screen where they can confirm the checklist is in read-only mode. Select the Close button to exit the screen. The My Grants List page displays. The next steps in the amendment process belong to the Federal Office. However, the grantee can always view the status of the amendment by navigating to the Manage Amendments screen. Non-competing continuations can be viewed and processed in Grant Solutions. If a grantee qualifies for more than one period of support, the application process can be performed in the system. Typically, a non-compete condition exists where the current budget period end date is before the project period end date and requires a new budget period for an existing project. If the grantee qualifies for a non-compete application, the My Grants list visibly displays status and apply links. Once the awarding agency posts the non-competing continuation kit, the grantee may select the Apply for Non-Competing Award link to begin the application process. The Grant Solutions Non-Competing Continuation Application Control Checklist displays. As with new awards and amendments, the completion and submission process for online forms and document uploads is identical for non-competing continuation applications. Click the, the Close button. The My Grants List screen displays. The non-competing application may now be edited or deleted from My Grants List. To view all applications, including those awarded, submitted, or still in progress, navigate to the application screen by selecting Applications from the menu bar. The My Applications List screen displays. From this screen, the grantee can manage and edit applications still in progress by selecting the Open link, view previously awarded applications, and add or view application notes. From the Application Type column, the viewer can determine whether the submission was a non-compete, an amendment, or a new application. From the bottom of the screen, click the Return to Announcement button. The Funding Opportunity screen displays. Current, non-competing continuations are visible towards the top of the page. Additionally, competing announcements that may be applied for via Grant Solutions also appear on this screen. To return to My Grants list, select Grants. My Grants List from the menu bar. The My Grants List screen displays. A directed supplement is when additional funds for a grant program are available for competition among active grantees for an existing budget period. If issued, the funds are awarded as a supplement to the existing grant. These opportunities are not available to the general public and are posted by the Grants Office to directed grantees. As with amendments and non-compete continuations, the Grant Solutions My Grants List provides a convenient way to manage and process direct supplement opportunities. If a grantee qualifies, My Grants List contains a link to the supplement announcement and a link to apply for supplemental award. To view the announcement, select the announcement title. The announcement page displays. Read the announcement and when finished, click the X in the upper right corner to close. The My Grants List page displays. Select the Apply link to open the application control checklist which has been configured for, for directed supplements. The Grant Solutions Direct Supplement Application Control Checklist displays. As with other control checklist kits, this may be completed and submitted. The grantee can review the application status by going directly to the Applications page. Click Applications from the menu bar. The My Applications list screen displays. The status levels are Work in Progress, Review in Progress, Submitted, Awarded, or Returned. While the application is a work in progress, the grantee may edit or delete the application. To continue working on the application, click the Open link. To delete the application, click the Remove link. To create an application note and send correspondence to federal staff, click the Notes link. To return to the My Grants List screen, select Grants, My Grants List from the menu bar. The My Grants List screen displays. 
This concludes the post-award training of the grantee training series. In addition to these training sessions, additional documents are available from the Help Support link within